Hey guys, so I'm starting a new series where I'm gonna be talking about digital decluttering. This is a topic that I'm super passionate about because with a lot of ADHDers or people that use Notion, we're trying to organize our lives, but also mostly our computers and all the content and files that we have. And there's not really a lot of people that teach this or that even talk about it. And, you know, I've done so much research on all the statistics about how much time it takes to find things on our computer. Without having a good system, we're not able to just know where things are, keep up with things, do things on a weekly basis to kind of spruce up and trim up and organize all the things that we're constantly downloading and, and you know, screenshotting and all the things on our computers and phones that we just tend to collect. So this series is gonna be a three-parter. I'm gonna be doing one on email, one on just general computer files. And then finally, um, today, we're actually gonna be starting with photo organization, photo and video organization. I am a big fan of Google Photos, which is a free software that you can get as long as you have a Google account. Um, I do not use Google Drive to store photos and videos. A lot of people use that. I much prefer Google Photos. I think it has so many more features that I'm gonna get into um, explaining why I use it. I am an Apple and Mac user, but yet I still use Google Photos. And so I kinda wanna walk through just some reasons why I use Google Photos and uh, specifically how I organize it using my 13 pillar system. So one thing to mention is that you can organize photos from both your computer and your phone using Google Photos and I'll walk through both as well as any photos that you have at home, whether you have photos that you have printed that you can take pictures of or if you have maybe home videos on a VHS. I actually um, turn mine into mp4s and now store a lot of my home videos from the 90s on my Google Photos account. So you can get basically every photo video that you have in your life, not just for business but also personal. I actually have them all on one account which I'll kind of walk through. But I just wanted to mention that we are going to be walking through Google Photos today and how to organize all of your photo and video content and make sure to subscribe for more and let's get started. Um, so if you are using you know, another software, maybe you're using iPhoto, maybe you're using Amazon Photos, um, if you're not using anything, you know, maybe you just have every photo on your computer, this is where you're gonna wanna listen up. So the first thing that is really important about Google Photos is uploading. So what's cool about Google Photos is you can literally drag and drop all the photos and videos on your computer and it will start to upload. What's cool also about Google Photos is that it can detect if you already have the same photo or video uploaded so you don't bring it in twice. That is so important. Plus it organizes it by year and date. It literally has the date, location, everything all stored inside of each individual photo video you have so you know exactly when something was taken, that sort of thing. So uploading from your phone is the same. You just open up the app and it should automatically start uploading everything that you have on your phone. And that's why I don't keep a lot of photos and videos on either my computer or my phone. I either upload them to Google Photos and then just delete them off of my computer or phone or I put them on a hard drive. I like to have backups. But for me, uploading is the easiest thing in the world and it is by far one of my favorite things about Google Photos. The second thing, like I mentioned, removing them from your phone, there's one button that just says remove um, you know, uploaded photos so you don't have to store all your photos on your phone. I truly try to do this every week so that I don't have any photos on my phone and they're all in the cloud. This allows me to not worry about when I even like switch phones or anything. Like I don't really just have a lot of content on my phone. It's all in the cloud. The third thing I love about Google Photos is their maps and locations. You can go through, um, they actually have a map feature where you can see where every photo is taken. So for me, this is actually helpful as I was going through and trying to remember when I went to certain thing. I can type in the location and it actually just pulls up all the photos I took there. So it's super helpful for me to know when I took something. Another thing that is amazing and probably one of my favorite features about Google Photos is that you can tag people and then they actually know what an object is. So if you type in dog, it'll find any picture of a dog that you have. Um, it's just so smart the way that the search is, is, is functioning. So that's what another reason why I love Google Photos. Obviously albums are really great. You can sort into albums just like you can on a lot of the other photo apps. But for me, Google Photos albums are great and I actually use my pillar system, which I'll walk through when we, we go through the walkthrough. And then you can also share those albums. So you can share them with other people. I've done this for, for example, a funeral where I, everyone was sharing photos. I made an album, people could post in there, that sort of thing. I have shared with clients, a photo, basically it's a folder, just a video of our recording together. 
So lots of things that are able to be done that way. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys that um, you know there are lots of ways to be able to use Google Photos and we'll walk through some of them and I just wanted to kind of walk through, those are some of the reasons why I use it and let's just get into walking through this. Okay, so I wanted to walk through a little bit of what my Google Photos process looks like. So right now this is literally just <laughs> my personal Google Photos. And what I do is I have it sorted kind of by my pillars. So if you haven't seen my pillars, um, I'm just going to show it to you right here. So I've got 13 different pillars that I organize my life by. And so I do that with Google Photos by having it be the first title of the album um, for like some of my business projects instead of business projects. But as you scroll down, um, I tried to do as many as I could. I'm going to kind of jump through some of these. I have, you know, content creation, specific things that I've done, um, you know, headshots, Facebook ad course that I took, GIFs, that kind of thing. You can see I have it sorted again by the pillars, that sort of thing. So if you want to go to, so let's just say I have, if I've screenshot a bunch of stuff, say this, this is screenshots. Let me just drag and drop. Let me show you how it works. It goes like this and you'll see down in the corner, it'll show all of the things and then it will say done. You can add it either to an album or shared album. For me, I just usually do that and then it refreshes and then it shows all of the updates. So now you'll see all of the videos that I've already filmed today, screenshots, anything that was on my phone um, gets updated as well. So I would just open it up on my phone and then basically uh, let me just show you guys how that works. So if I'm on my phone, you'll see up here that it actually shows that it's backing up several videos. And so what you will do is once that's done backing up, uh, it just says two items. It says backup complete. What you can select is free up space. And then it shows that I have 24 items that I need to delete. So I will do that. It will ask me to make sure I delete them and I do. And that's it. That is how I organize on my phone. So now you can see that it's now in my recently deleted. I can go in and delete that again. But for me, I do this all the time on my phone to make sure that I only have the things that I want, you know, most current on here. So then you can see, you can see on here, I have all of my folders, that sort of thing to kind of figure that stuff out. So when I go back to my albums, you can order them either by album title, last modified, most recent. I want to give you guys some examples of things that I upload into here. Um, so I have family photos and again, I order it. So one thing that I like to do is, for example, I've been doing a lot of health and fitness stuff lately. I can actually go in and, uh, let me just give this example. So these are instant pot posts, right? So they're screenshots about instant pot. they are TikTok videos that again, I've uploaded from my phone. Um, anything from Pinterest or things, it literally have it organized. And then when you go into something, if you click on the info button, you'll see, the date that it was taken, that sort of thing where it was uploaded from. You can always change the date if you want to, but I just wanted to mention that. Another thing that you can do, for example, is you can see if you type in like, um, let's just type in like pasta. If you just type in something into uh, Google Photos, you'll see it will literally come up with every picture or video of pasta that you've ever had. So now it's very easy to go in and quickly add these to a different folder so you can find them. Whether it's um, a type in dog, if you want to type in dog, it literally will show, you know, pictures of dogs, videos of dogs, whatever you have. Um, you know, so it's very, very interesting. Even the word dog, it, it can read things, you know. Um, there's so many different things that you can do on here. Anyways, so that was one thing. I also wanted to show you guys, like, so if I were to, let me just type in, so let's just say I go to a, a Twins game, right? If I, you can see now here, if I click on, let's see if I can do this. It's easier to do it on your phone, but you can actually see the location as well. So you could type in, um, let's just type in like, Minneapolis or something like that. You can see all of the different places in Minneapolis that, you know, things were taken. So that's a very, very cool thing that you can do on um, Google uh, Photos that I really enjoy. Again, another thing, you can search by people. So I actually have a profile of every picture with my face on it. So I could do that. Um, let me think of another example. 
um, let me just use my mom as an example. So, you know, every picture that's been taken of her, um, that sort of thing is on here. So again, you can sort it by people that it's just so cool and I just love it so much. So again, what I do for mine is I organize it first by the pillar. So whether it's business projects, content, family, friends and social, if you scroll all the way down, like I have a ton of different albums. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys to kind of see a walkthrough of how I use Google Photos. Um, just some of the things I literally have, you know, travel, everything from my life. I have both photos and videos, so that's another thing. I actually converted a lot of my videos from my home videos, as well as you know any other videos I have on my phone, you can upload. I do pay a couple dollars a month for Google Photos because I use it so much and I try, I have 200 gigabytes on here. Not everyone needs that, I just am a power user of it and I have a lot of content that I save. Uh, but I wanted to just mention that, you know, Google Photos is so great. One of the things that you can do is you can, um, one of the things I like to do is when I'm reading a book, I actually like to make a lot of my books, uh, Kindle quotes into images, and then I upload them to Google Images. You can actually search text on Google uh, Photos as well. So if you type in a term, it may, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it has like the AI learning, which is great. I know a lot of people do Readwise with Notion and Kindle, but I don't know, I like this route a lot as well. I could go in and copy all of these notes as well, but I like to just have another uh, copy of a lot of the quotes that I've read. Sometimes they have, you know, graphics and things as well, so it's very important to have. So I just thought that this was a great system for me. This is like my second brain using Google Photos as well. A lot of people always talk about putting photos and videos on Notion and I'm like, mm, Google Photos is great on its own. Like I don't need to use Notion as a way to store images and photos and videos. I really just use Google Photos as like my, and that's why I always say it, my two favorite apps are Notion and Google Photos. Google Photos is everything visual, Notion is everything text um, and just kind of organizing thoughts. So one thing I did want to show as well is how you can use Google Photos with Canva and I'll jump over to that real quick. So when you're inside of Canva, let's show an example of I'm trying to find a photo or video that I've used before. So this is an example for my um, ADHD resources page. You'll see if you go down here, it should be here right here, Google Photos. You will see literally it has the most updated everything. It has my folders here. It only shows like the most recent folders though, so just FYI. But literally I can, as long as everything's up to date, I can literally drag and drop. Um, let me give an example. This was a, a song I was listening to earlier. You literally, I screenshotted this an hour ago and now I can pop it in. I actually use this when I'm making uh, thumbnails for YouTube. I actually take the photo usually on my phone and then just put it in Google Photos and then pop it into, no sh or into Canva to edit. So I just thought that that was helpful to know as well. So I hope that this video was helpful. I am gonna be doing one on email as well. I have done a video on email, but I'm gonna go through it a little bit more in depth, um, specifically because so many people struggle with email. And then also files on your computer. That's a really important topic as well. So anyways, I hope that this declutter series is gonna be fun. If there's any other things you wanna see me declutter, one thing that is, a great topic as well is Canva because I use it a lot for content creation. Um, that's mainly the things I find people struggle the most with is photo video content, emails, and just computer files. Um, a lot of it I put into Notion nowadays, a lot of PDFs, a lot of any type of text. Um, I don't really use Google Drive or I actually don't have Microsoft Word on my computer. I only use text stuff in Notion and uh, for a lot of it, again, I don't use Google Drive because I use Notion and Google Photos. So I really just skip that step. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll talk to you guys next week.